Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I just got back with lunch. I'm very selective with what I want on my sandwiches, so before I eat, I always check to make sure they got it right. There's no pickles on this sandwich. That's fine, I don't really eat pickles. Bubble Bass would hate me. Pickles is the episode where Spongebob forgets how to do everything after he seemingly doesn't put pickles on a Krabby Patty. Like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, this episode aired on August 21st, 1999, and it debuted one of the most iconic characters in the entire series, Bubble Bass. He is so memorable that at least 60% of the time when people ask me to identify the name and or number of some episodes, they will often ask me about the episode with Bubble Bass. Of course, since Bubble Bass appears in more episodes than just this, I would usually say, Which episode? Bubble Bass has appeared in a handful of episodes. And then they would mention the pickles part, and then I would state the name and number of this episode. That goes to show how popular Bubble Bass is among the fans, and he is still used heavily to this day. Starting with the post-movie, post-sequel era, he became a recurring character and there were even a couple episodes during that time where he does have a major role just like in this episode. He started appearing more than ever, it almost feels like the show couldn't be around without him nowadays. And thank god! Despite that, he's still a rather minor character when looking at the series as a whole. And even though this is his most iconic appearance and he has a major effect on the direction the plot goes, he actually doesn't have as much screen time as some people almost seem to make it out to be. No! But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, let's rewatch this episode and relive how iconic his debut was. So the episode starts up and we're at the Krusty Krab for the fourth time in the series as of this point. A customer struggles to decide what he wants and soon chooses to have a Krabby Patty with extra onions. Squidward hands the order to Spongebob and Spongebob makes that Krabby Patty in the order he knows to heart. Did anybody else notice how he just put the patty on the bun? He didn't even grill that before putting it on the bun. It was just in that station and he didn't put anything on the grill. After finishing this order, he made another order of 12 Krabby Patties on wheat buns. When Squidward served this order, we then see Bubble Bass for the first time, and he places his order of a double triple bossy deluxe on a wrap. 4x4 animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease make it cry, burn it and let it swim. Holy sh**, that's a mouthful. Also, I'm with Squidward. Is that even food? Spongebob already prepared it, and then we see that Spongebob and Bubble Bass have had some kind of rivalry with each other. Spongebob hears that Bubble Bass is picky and proceeds to give the patty to him. Everybody gathers round when he sits down to eat it. Bubble Bass admits it's pretty good, but states that he forgot the pickles, much to Spongebob's shock. He then proceeds to humiliate Spongebob by saying he's lost, but Spongebob knows he put pickles on the Krabby Patty, but he couldn't find them. Bubble Bass throws Squidward and states that Mr. Krabs owes him two bucks as part of the mandatory money back guarantee that's so tiny, yet Bubble Bass can see it somehow. Mr. Krabs tries to convince Bubble Bass otherwise, but he leaves with the money anyway. So Mr. Krabs says he'll take that money out of his paycheck, a common trend throughout the series. When Spongebob goes back to work, he forgets the order to put the ingredients on the Krabby Patty, even to the extent of putting things like a shoe and pan on the bottom bun. <laughs> okay, I do love that part, but I'm pretty sure a shoe and pan weren't in the list of ingredients he stated earlier. Spongebob forgets how to do everything, and Mr. Krabs lets Spongebob go home early and decides to have Squidward make the patties. As Spongebob starts to leave, he can't find the front door till Mr. Krabs shows him. Spongebob now knows he has to rest his brain when he gets home, but when he gets home, he tries to remember the order he was so used to, but no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't recall it. Later that night, he couldn't even remember where on the bed he sleeps or even in the position he's supposed to sleep in. He tries all night, but still did not figure it out. Even when his alarm goes off, he can't recall how to turn it off and puts Gary in the hole at the top. Meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab, Squidward burned all the food, the Krabby Patties, the fries, and even the shakes. Okay, how do you even burn a milkshake? Everybody leaves, and Mr. Krabs has to try to get Spongebob back. When he goes to his house, he sees that it's an absolute mess, and so many random objects were out of place. Spongebob comes over and talks funny with his underwear over his head, and we see what better be his nose. 
Mr. Krabs can see how screwed up SpongeBob's memory was, so he has to help SpongeBob get his confidence back so he'll feel better. Mr. Krabs tells SpongeBob that if he learns how to make a Krabby Patty, his life will be back in order. He lays out a group of ingredients and gives SpongeBob as much time as he needs. It takes days before he can make any sort of progress. I know he forgot the correct way to sleep, but how can he not be tired after days of not sleeping at all? SpongeBob first snaps at Mr. Krabs, saying he can't do anything at all, and then accidentally makes a Krabby Patty with the ingredients in a slightly different way from earlier. They then return to the Krusty Krab, and all the customers are happy to see SpongeBob again. Bubble Bass returns again, and SpongeBob confronts him again. Bubble Bass asks for another order with the pickles this time. When SpongeBob hands it to him, Bubble Bass eats it but says there's still no pickles, grosses out the crowd, and laughs at SpongeBob again. But then SpongeBob finds out that Bubble Bass was hiding the pickles under his tongue the whole time, exposing Bubble Bass's scheme. Bubble Bass runs away and everybody cheers that SpongeBob is back. Then SpongeBob tries to get the crowd to cheer for Squidward for taking his place, but everybody just boos Squidward and the episode ends. So that was Pickles, and this episode is definitely iconic. Bubble Bass was shown off great here, and his general character of being picky and doing stupid things is displayed in an awesome way. While his rivalry with SpongeBob is awesome, I always wondered what happened that caused this rivalry in the first place, even when I was a kid. But I won't complain, it's fun to watch. Circling back to what I said about Bubble Bass's role in this episode not being as large as people make it out to be, it's true when you think about it. He doesn't appear until one minute into the episode, then we see the rivalry between Spongebob and Bubble Bass, then Bubble Bass humiliates Spongebob, then after he leaves the Krusty Krab, he doesn't return to the plot until the last two minutes of the episode. While he does have a significant role on where the story goes, he has less actual screen time in this episode. Of course, he doesn't need to be shoehorned into the plot at times where he didn't need to be, and the plot is perfect for what it is. But don't take this the wrong way. Bubble Bass's part in this is still awesome and just as memorable as it always is. Now going back to Bubble Bass's order, since he asked for a double triple bossy deluxe on a wrapped 4x4 animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim, I'm going to explain what this means for people who didn't know what this meant when they first saw this episode. Double triple means six patties. Bossy means all beef. Deluxe means everything on it. On a raft means toast in place of regular hamburger buns. 4x4 four four means taking the previous six patties and multiplying them by four, which makes 24 patties with 24 slices of cheese. Animal style means patties cooked in mustard and 24 layers of everything. Extra shingles means extra toast, two per layer, making a total of 14 pieces of toast. With a shimmy means spreading jelly on the toast. A squeeze means orange juice to drink. Light axle grease means light butter on the toast. Make it cry means extra onions. Burn it means the patties are well done. Let it swim means extra special sauce. Okay, I guess that is food. And a lot of it at that. I didn't know any of this at all until I found some comments about this scene from this episode translating the whole order. The order itself also became popular around the internet and it's the other thing people think about when bubble bass comes to mind, other than the pickles of course. In addition to the order, there are a lot of other funny moments in this episode. Just to name a few, there is Spongebob's descent into madness when he forgets how to do the most simple things like sleeping or riding a bike, Squidward's comments to Bubble Bass about a salad and how the Krusty Krab serves food, Spongebob putting a shoe and pan on a bun, and this gem of a scene at the end. Boo! You stink! As previously stated, I love the dynamic between Spongebob and Bubble Bass where they are clear rivals, and spoiler alert, it only appears in Season 1 in particular. What? While Bubble Bass is shown in the modern seasons, their rivalry isn't as emphasized as often as it is in this season. But that's not important. This episode is good, and that's what matters at the end of the day. Bubble Bass's intro story is very memorable, and no matter how much he may appear in the series, this episode shoved him into every fan's memories, and he's often remembered to this day thanks to this episode. Pickles is an awesome episode, and Bubble Bass definitely makes the episode more amazing than it already is. His love for Pickles is what makes him stand out among fans, and why he's so funny. And so is his voice. 
Also, without pickles on my sandwich, I can now enjoy my lunch in peace. Wait, there's pickles on this sandwich. Bubble Bass would love this.